So, I was shopping around for Z490 motherboards recently. And after doing God knows how much research on the boards and the features and etc, etc. This one is definitely the most complicated of all the generations of motherboards I've ever had to purchase for. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers, and today we're going to do a quick video on a rundown of the motherboards that you should and should not look for when buying for Z490. Um, it's it's kind of uh, kind of a uh, um, finicky topic. I have no brand loyalty. I have no fanboyism when it comes to part selection. I couldn't give a rat's ass about any of that stuff. I buy the best product that meets my needs, period. I don't give a, I don't give a crap about the brand. So, um, for my Z390 builds, the 9900KS for me and my wife, I use the Gigabyte Aorus Master. That was just the best motherboard at the price range. Um, in terms of VRM. Uh, for my ITX build, I use the ASRock Gaming Z390 Phantom ITX or whatever. That just happened to be the best VRM for ITX builds on the Z390. Uh, for my X570 3950X build, I used the Tai Chi from, Ace, from ASRock. Just because it looks the best. There's, there's literally no other reason. It looks the best and it uh, checks all the check marks of my requirements for what a board needs. Um, so X570 is kind of unique that way where... A lot of the boards match up and you just kind of pick the one that you like the most and I just like the Tai Chi. Anyway, so for Z490, for the 10900K, I'm, I grabbed um, I grabbed the Maximus Hero 12 and there's two specific reasons I picked this board. Um, Z4, Z490 is very strange in that all of the vendors and their motherboards, um, they all have such good VRMs that that's not actually the buying criteria anymore. There's so many, there's so many other little things about Z490 that you have to really be careful of. Um, for example, don't buy any Z490 boards that have the Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN. The there's a specific version that's bugged out that has packet loss. Um, that's that's gonna be fixed in newer revisions of the motherboards, but for now, don't get any of those. The reason I got this one is because it has a one gig LAN and a five gig LAN, so it doesn't have that bugged out one. Um, the second reason I bought this board is because all the other boards in this price category don't have the iGPU VRM. I don't know why. I, like, I literally don't know why. The only other one that does is the Gigabyte Aorus Master. But that one only has uh, the Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN. So, like, by, pro by process of elimination, there was no other, like, high-end board that had the iGPU and that did not have the um, 2.5 gigabit LAN. The only thing that sets this board back is uh, apparently it doesn't have PCI Express 4.0 forward compatibility that the other boards do. So essentially, no matter what board you pick on Z490, you're screwed. Unless you're using um, a 10900KF or any of the F models where you don't need the iGPU, then your doors open up a lot more. Probably the MSI Unify is your go to you know what i mean but um i don't care i didn't care so much about pci express 4 because when i buy a new platform i just buy the new platform i don't i don't rigmarole with all this cpu upgrade nonsense i just buy the new board and sell the old one it's, it's so much easier and there's less headache for me so that's why i went the, with the hero 12 it's the only board that checks all the boxes except for the msi godlike that has everything, but I can't afford to spend that much money on a board. That's insanity. So it's like, it's either godlike 
or 12 hero and like and then like down to the bottom maybe like a steel legend or something but uh, whatever you know what i mean anyway the first thing that most people would toss out would be the igpu but the igpu can be used for so many things that you wouldn't even think about until it's gone um if you want to record your gameplay footage while you're playing you can use the igpu and then it won't hit your fps numbers if you use the uh nv nvenc on the gp on the graphics card or if you use the uh a avc from amd or something if you use those ones even though they they are dedicated chips on like they're dedicated silicon on the chips you'll still see a performance hit like you, like it doesn't matter it takes some of the bandwidth away from the ram but if you use the igpu you lose no fps recording your footage that's just point number 1 Point number two is if you're watching Twitch or another person's stream while you're gaming, for some reason, when you're watching streaming websites, it draws a lot of hardware horsepower. Just, I don't know why. I remember when I was playing Warzone, I would drop 20 FPS if I just had Twitch open on my other screen. So a way to get around that is to have your second screen on the iGPU, move your Twitch window over there so that the hardware acceleration for Twitch happens on the iGPU. Lots of little things like that that you can do to improve your experience as a gamer with the iGPU. It's like, it's just handy having a backup. Um, 2.5 gigabit LAN, that's not really negotiable. You can't buy those yet until you... Until the manufacturer has posted on their website that that's fixed, don't get those motherboards. And PCI Express 4.0, strictly up to you if if you care about future compatibility or not. That's that's it. But on that point though, the uh, the uh, Z590, I guess they'll call it, like the the Rocket Lake chips. They're going to actually have eight lanes to the chipset, not just four. So I would buy a new motherboard anyway if you're going to get uh, Z590 or whatever. Because you, you're going to want all those eight lanes. You're not going to want four tiny PCI Express 3.0 lanes instead of eight PCI Express 4.0 lanes. You know what I mean? So that's going to be... It's going to be worth selling your old board and getting the new board in that scenario. So... Out of all those things, PCI Express 4.0 would be the first one to go for me. Uh, or the first one that I would compromise when buying a Z490 board. Um, anyway, that's why this is the only board that fits all those bills. There's literally nothing else but the godlike. And in the lower tiers, I didn't actually do enough research to suggest any. Um, the Strix Z490E, I think, is a good one, but I'm not really too sure. Look for those criteria, and uh, you guys will be good to go on Z490. Well, guys, if you like this video, it was a quick one, really condensed information, but I I found I found this whole process too valuable not to share it with you guys. Um, if you liked it, uh, please subscribe. Hopefully, today is the day I earn your subscription. I'm still trying to reach a hundred. Uh, like it, share it with your friends. And come join us over on the Discord if you want to come play some games with us in the community. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.